morning guys, Afran and I are here in San Diego Bay in hopes to catch some legal halibut and some decent sized bass. We are going to be fishing deep structures, submerged jetties, and drop offs. The tides are in our favor coming from low to high tide with a 5 foot tidal swing. We are going to be using two different techniques, a drop shot mullet bait as well as Afran's war baits underspin. We will be exploring beautiful San Diego Bay for its sandy bottoms because again, halibut love sandy bottoms. If you like more collabs like this in the future, let me know in the comments and give me a thumbs up. Without further ado, I hope you enjoy this video. I'm using a drop shot technique. Afran's gonna be using the underspin. There's a lot of advantages for using both types of rigs. One advantage of using the drop shot is that you are definitely feeling the ground. You're feeling if there's grass or if there's sandy bottoms with just the, the feel of your rod, the feel of the weight on the bottom. And one of the advantages of using underspin is the flashy blade. There you go, go. Come on, come here. Look at that extra sensitivity ride right there. <laughs> Ooh. Damn, look at that, that is a nice one. Ooh. Got a sculpting. There you go. Sculpin on board. That's a nice sculpin right there. Super nice. Is this a uh, poisonous, yeah? Yes. All the fins and head, it's all poisonous. Nice, and I have my thumb in its mouth. This one looks like the one on Ballast Point. It looks so sick. Sculpin. <laughs> Alright, see ya buddy. Woo! We're fishing uh 39 to 38 feet. Got something on. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Oh, We're on. And we are on. Hey, Efren, what do you think I caught? It's a little calico. Ah, <laughs> there you go. We got the calicos going here. Loaded there up. There you go. Two. <laughs> That's awesome. We are on the hunt for some legals. Hey, catching cook halibut, dude. <laughs> Just kidding. This is way undersized here. <laughs> friends on. See you, buddy. Ooh, dude, that is a good one, dude. Look at that under underspin, a little calico hunter. Yeah. Look like a sculpin hunter, actually. Yeah. That's a nice fish. Man. Spit up some clam. That is a sick fish. That is awesome. My friend was fishing that sculpin. He got that fish to bite. Ryan, this look at this water. This look at this discrepancy. This water is a little bit rougher versus the where all the boats are over there. But this rough water actually holds some of the the bigger fish because a lot of the smaller bait fish gets trapped in this current and gets stuck in those that ridge line. You got bit right there, right next oh, yeah. to the rock, right? Yeah, right on the corner. Right on the corner. So it's rock. So cool. Got a little nice, nice little halibut. And then right away, Afran got a nice little sculpin right there. Actually, a big sculpin, not little. Ooh, another hookup. I'm off that bottom. What bait is this one, man? This is the um, slow pitch jig. Spotted. Calico. Chunky. Dude, that is a sick bite on that jig. Look on at the that. jig with the glow in the dark bars. <laughs> <laughs> Put the little tube back in. And Woo! There you go. One, <laughs> it's another calico. It's a nice one, dude. Good one. Woo! What? Dang, that's a nice one. Hey, look at that on the drop shot. Look at that. It's a good one. Probably this one's uh close to 14 inches. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and try to measure this one. Ooh, this guy is 14 and a half inches right here. This one's legal to keep. Should we keep this, guys? I like practicing catch and release, so I'm actually just gonna let this girl go. There you go. See you, buddy. Woo! That's another species, though, on yeah. the on the board. <laughs> That's we awesome. We are racking up the species today. Super fun day. Look uh -oh. at that. Hold on, guys. Be roll. There we go. He's up. Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, it's a barracuda. Oh, a drop shot? That's kind of weird. <laughs> Barracuda are top water fish. They rarely bite bottom. See ya. Ooh, one's a little bit bigger, dude. Keeping the rod tip down. Find like a little calico. I haven't seen color yet. It's a nice spotty. That's a nice one. 
Woo! Oh. That was good. Dude. Look at that. That's a nice spot. First spotted bay bass of the day. There you go. Dude, look at the stomach on this one. Look at that. That's awesome. Fishing with the owner and creator of war baits right there. It's just an awesome day. This guy has a fat old belly. I think this is a female because of the yellow coloration of the chin here. Is that what it is, right? Females? I believe so. They start Female? to spawn. They, they start turning yellow. Yeah. Nice and dark one. Big old belly. Dude. Let's, uh, we're actually gonna catch and cook this one. And uh, just kidding. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> that legal size spotty. Bit on the, uh, again, drop shot technique. I'm using a white four inch mullet bait. A weight here, six to 10 inches away from the weight and hook. All morning we've been getting calicos and bass to bite, all in about 30 to 40 feet of water. We wanted to change scenario and target drop offs. So as you can see in this depth finder, we were fishing in between 30 feet and eight feet of water, hoping that the halibuts were in this depth. Fishing at this drop off, Afrin gets a hookup. Dude, this is the one. Oh, it's a alley, dude. Here it comes, dude. Watch out, here it comes. Oh, buddy. Dude. Dude. Heck yeah. Oh. oh. Freaking oh, he broke, broke, he the, broke line. the line. Yeah. Dude. 23 inches, dude. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Dude. Chop that slug in half. Dude. That is a nice ah. halibut, dude. Oh God. my God. Dude, that's awesome. Can I see your bait? Yeah. Is it cool if I uh, show the viewers? Of course, of course. So uh, obviously this was a full slug. Full slug. But at one point. At one point, and he definitely bent your underspin, dude. Oh, he did. Yeah, dude. Look at that. Oh yeah. Right? Is that how it? Full thrash. Full thrash, dude. That is awesome. Twenty-three inch halibut. Twenty-three inch, and his eye is effed up because of that hook set that Efren has. It is uh. Pretty professional. We'll <laughs> that was awesome, dude. All right, guys. Oh, I'm gonna put him in the tank here. Nice yeah. Keep him fresh. Keep him fresh. You're gonna do a catch and cook how the video? Oh, catch and cook. Yeah. Play job. Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that video, man. Yeah, man. Ooh. That is sick. Right. Hey, dude, after I think I should beat. <laughs> you got him beat, dude. <laughs> A little bit more punier, but hey, it's still a fish. See you, buddy. We're fishing that barge now. One of the cool things about fishing the barge is there's a lot of sardines, a lot of mackerel that get put into the barge, but a lot, oftentimes, a lot of the, the bait fish actually escape during the transition or through little holes in the bait barge. And so a lot of the predator type fish, such as the barracuda or calico or sand bass or the halibut are right here. So me and Efren are gonna take full advantage, full advantage. So casting this drop shot right in parallel to this little bait barge here where all the sardines and mackerel and bait fish like to escape. And a lot of the predator type fish are most likely gonna be there. So I'm waiting for that drop shot, that one ounce weight to hit the floor. It's currently 38 feet of water depth. So it takes a little bit of time for that drop shot to actually hit the floor. Once I feel bottom, I basically, if the current's pretty good, the drift is pretty good, you don't really have to do anything. That curly tail is doing all the action for you. So you just have to leave the rod tip pointing down and just wait for a nice little nibble. Any day now, any day. Five minutes later. A lot of the predator type fish they like being on the bottom right here and the drop shot is a and again another calico drop shot is a, another good way of getting them to bite something about the chartreuse color and the gloomy skies definitely get these uh, bass these calico type of bass to bite look at that that's a nice one nice one right off the bait barge so awesome see you buddy got one who oh, got a mackerel on a drop shot? What? I'm gonna feed my friend here. You don't want it? What the? What? It's right in front of you. I thought they would go for it. Oh! 
That pelican got it. So that mackerel did not go to waste. Shot one, there you go. It's a little bit of a nicer one. Oh, it's a nice body. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you saw that, right? <laughs> Just lost my lure in front of them. Another predator type fish here in San Diego Bay, right next to the bait barge, right where all the sardines, bait fish escape from the pods or from the bait barge itself. Just gotta let it go. Let it go, let it grow. See you, buddy. We continued to catch more calicos and bass. However, no halibut at the bait barge. So we decided to go back at the drop-offs to hope to catch more halibut or other predator type fish. Trying best of both worlds right now. I'm using a four inch gulp mullet bait and I'm pairing it with the three eighth ounce under spoon. Let's see if we can get bit. Swim's nice. The scent, the curly tail, and then the underblade, hopefully that attracts some predator type fish to bite. So right now we're drifting parallel to this shoreline here and we are about 17 foot in water depth. There's eelgrass to our right and we're just fishing that little shelf right to the left of the eelgrass patch. Efren there is using a crankbait, a spotted bay bass imitation crankbait by Fishhead. Nice design. And I'm using a underspin because Efren uh, definitely convinced me after him catching the legal halibut. But just like him, I'm letting that underspin, the swim bait, hit the floor and a nice little reel in, hovering that blade over the sandy bottoms. Guys, I think I got a Corvina. <laughs> Dude, on the underspin. There you go. That's a nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce it. Yes! <laughs> yes, dude! Yes! Hey, I saw it take off. That was so dude, rad. I saw, dude, I saw it too. That was, that was so sick. sick. Oh my god, he wanted that. Look at that. He wanted that underblade. I think I'm gonna do a catch and cook on this one. I'm gonna catch and cook. I'm gonna actually keep this one because look at it. He's already bleeding. There's no way of getting around that because he actually swallowed that under underblade. So even if I release him, he has a less chance of surviving. So we're actually going to go ahead and catch and cook this guy and uh, let's put it in the live well. Woo! Afran is killing it today with the underspin. Oh dude, that's a huge halibut. He's a big halibut. We're going to get him right here. Get him bro. Stick him. Oh. Now he missed him. Now we got him now. Oh! Get him off. No! Get him off, no! Oh, yeah, he's oh. Holy crap! Oh. Whoa! I am a horrible gaffer. Right. So, uh, one, one, two. <laughs> One swoop. Bring him right in, lay him on the bed. This is what, how not to gaff, by the way, oh if you want to replay second it. Second chance. Just tell him to gaff. Right here, we got the head. One coming. swoop, one swoop. Yeah, here you go. Oh. I'm losing the drag up, guys. That he has time to run. Oh. Oh. Here you go. Right there. Right to the boat. Right to the boat. Yeah. Yes, dude. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Dude, Afran, <laughs> show me what's up on this legal size halibut, dude. That's like 30, 28. Yeah. Look at that. Catching two legal size halibut and a short fin corvina. Is it okay underspin. if I show your bait? Oh, yeah. On the underspin. On the underspin. Chartreuse, baby. <laughs> hey, I saw Rodney doing it, so I had to get it, had to get it on. Hey, my bet on the first attempt on the gaff, dude. I. <laughs> If you know me, I don't even net. I don't even do any of those kind of things. Yeah, we got him though. We got him. Dude. Check him out. Oh, he's heavy. Dude, he Full is size. heavy. We fished for another hour until the wind started to pick up and all the audio got messed up. So we both decided to call it quits to an epic day of fishing. If you like these kinds of videos, please comment below. Give me a thumbs up. Visit Warbeat's YouTube channel to see Afran's perspective of this fishing trip. I hope you enjoy this video. Again, my name is Rodney Marquez and always, always, thanks for watching. See ya. Get him, bro. Stick him. Oh. Now he missed him. Now we got him now. Oh. Him off. No. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, he's oh. Holy crap. Oh. Whoa. I am a horrible gaffer.